Okay, so soil biology, as I was saying, it doesn't have to be complex. There can be very some simple rules to work with biological systems. One, soil cover. Always maintain soil cover. Nowhere in nature do we see nature leave the soil uh, bare. There's always living plants growing, be them weeds, be them mosses and algae, uh, microbes, be them uh, plants, weeds, be them shrubs, trees. Nowhere do we ever see bare soil. So, well, let's apply that principle to agriculture. If we want to mimic natural systems, make our agricultural systems as sustainable as possible, keep the soil covered. Well, what happens when we keep the soil covered and keep living plants growing in the soil? Well, if, the, if there's a plant living, then it is exuding those root exudates into the soil. And if it is putting those exudates into the soil, it is feeding the microorganisms. We're keeping biology active. So, come on, that's not hard. Just keep the soil covered. Well, what about mineral balance? Optimizing nutrient balance for the crop. Not only in the sense that excess nutrients in our soils can be antagonistic to microbes, which we'll talk about in a second, but it's also about optimizing the plant's requirements for nutrition. The more uh, balanced our plant nutrition is, the better it photosynthesizes. If we, have a, if we have a constraint, if we have a deficiency, well, the plant isn't going to be photosynthesizing as efficiently, and therefore less sugar will be going down and going out the root system as those root exudates. So we've got to optimize the plant nutrient requirements to make sure that it is photosynthesizing at optimum and sending those sugars down to the root system. Okay, feed the soil. Green manures are not a waste of time out of my production cycle. No, no, no. Invest in soil fertility. It, you know, how many times do I hear the excuse, yeah, but I just can't fit a green manure in my cropping cycle. It just doesn't work. I've got to get back into the next crop or this or that. There's just always, always excuses as to why we can't uh, use our green manures in my, in my particular production cycle. Um, find, make the time, find the time. You've got to invest in that soil fertility building. And then, of course, yes, it's a bit of time out of production, but you're going, when you do come back into production, that production is going to be a lot easier for you because you've built that fertility. So applying carbon-based fertilizers, which we'll talk about, and then protect soil life. So it's not all about building and enhancing and encouraging microbes. Once you do that, you've got to then protect them. So we've got to think consciously about when and how we cultivate uh, the use of any chemicals if we have to use them.